Welcome back to another basic Game Maker Studio tutorial and this time I'm gonna show you um, a few things about polygons if you actually need them because they can actually do some quite interesting stuff but which is quite specific so polygons are maybe not for you so if you're a beginner I think polygons are a great way later on to utilize a few interesting functions or do some uh, graphical things because what you're seeing on the screen is a polygon and then I just put a texture on it then we kind of distort and that stuff um, practical applications I will show in other videos this is just a basic introduction what polygons are what vertices are and how to utilize and draw those primitives because those are primitives so if you want to know that this is by the way a request from one of my subscribers and patrons so hello this is for you so this is well, <laughs> the first part of a series, I hope at least. And let's get right into the good stuff. I will completely uh, skip my intro. This is one of Indy. Hello. And let's get right into the good stuff. And we need to get rid of this stuff because this is messy already. And what are um, polygons? And what are primitives? Primitives are just basically primitive shapes. And to understand that you need to understand what vertices are because this is being used as a word or as a, a keyword to, to understand. So basically you just have one point, you connect it to another point with a line and those two points are called vertices but of course you can just call it edges, points, whatever they are, they're like different but here they're just used as vertices and for example if you have three and you connect them then you have a closed shape and this closed shape it's called a polygon of course they are like um, different kind of polygons or they can look like this completely or just really messed up shapes as long as they are closed and then they have a minimum of three vertices or three points which are being connected so this is just for you so you understand how that thing works in Theory. So this is the theoretical part and let's go into Game Maker Studio because there are different ways how to draw those primitives which are listed here so you find them under primitives in your manual and the first uh, three ones are not too important in my opinion they are just uh, points lines which come in well with two points so two vertices you have to have so they come in doubles here this is a chain of points of vertices so this is the first one this is a second one and the second one is connecting to the third one and so on and so you can draw some shapes on the screen so this is a way how to do that um not too terribly important in my opinion but this is how you do it and this is how actually you draw all those primitives and this is quite important no, you are gone and you are gone as well. Bam! So what you have to uh, do, you cannot just say, hey, draw a vertex and then combine them. You just have to tell Game Maker in the draw event, say, hey, begin to draw my primitive and then end it later on. And of course you can give it some color so you can say draw set color uh, not precision color and then see I don't know red and then later on draw set color to white to reset it so uh, come on let's do that fast here BAM white and this is for example once we started in the game we're just having a line strip and the line strip is as you can see now two lines and the line strip is the this thing here so one point to the other one to the other one to the other one or just single ones if you like so you have to go in pairs or something I don't know something like this doubles like this should be one line and this should be one line not too terribly important in my opinion you can could theoretically make a shape but they wouldn't be forming a polygon where you can do something like this you could actually put a texture over it and this is one of the more interesting parts about while well, drawing primitives so 
The first three ones, you can play around with them if you like, but <laughs> well, no. So once again, you say draw primitive begin and then of course you give in what kind of primitive you want to draw and then you're drawing your points, which are your, just your vertex, vertex, vertices, my bad, vertices, plural of vertex, and then they're just being connected to each other. But these ones are the more interesting parts, which are PR triangle list and PR triangle, I guess PR stands for primitive triangle strip. And here you have simple triangles and they are alone. So you go in pairs of three and here, this is the more, in, uh, well, combined part. This is like kind of like the strip. So you have the, you form your first triangle. Let's go in here. So if you're doing um, the triangle, what was it called? Triangle strip. So let's go in here. So you build your first triangle and then later on you say, hey, make a second triangle. Then we're taking the last two points and forming our second triangle on that one. And then once again, next point, uh, last two points, which I don't know which one they actually were, it doesn't really matter. And then we are forming our next triangle and so on and so on. And this is how you can stack them, or combine them into one shape. So this is um, the other way how to do that. And for example, let's go uh, into here and kill that because I don't really need it. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. And for example, here we have triangle list and triangle list once again was just single triangles and then you just, I don't know, combine them together and then they fill out with the default color, which is C white now. Of course, you can give it another one, which is for example, blue. And yeah, so this is what you can do. And of course, later on, you can rotate those things and just give some other uh, values so they actually have some movement and the great thing about this they just stay all the time crisp and very very sharp because they are just shapes so they scale perfectly uh, doesn't really matter how far you zoom in or zoom out doesn't really matter they all stay pretty good so this is another thing and here we come to the other interesting part for example maybe you want to do the overlaying and this is what I basically do and here I say let's put that in here one second so I say hey over oh, let's make a different color C uh, let, let's leave it like this um we say hey we grabbing a texture so and saving it in a variable so text the sprite get texture and then we're just getting uh, this background texture here. Bam. And then what we are doing, we're just saying, hey, draw primitive, begin. But now we say texture, so we can actually only do those two. So for example, here, it just, you just have those two options. And this one is just taking the, then the, the picture here or the image, or that is just grabbing the texture of it and then saying, hey, what kind of do you want to do? And now we do the strip, which is this guy, so the chained. And then for example, we're drawing two triangles, but now you see it's not just draw text uh, vertex, now it's draw vertex texture. So you need to, as an input, two values, which are first of all, the position, the X and Y, which should be, well, obvious, but the other one is the TX and Y text and these coordinates are just like, let's say, um, a value between uh, zero and, uh, and, and one. So for example, the, you have, let's say, uh, a texture which you're taking. And then for example, the, the, big, the top one is zero, zero, one, zero, one, one, and this is zero, one. So this is the first values for, for X. This is for Y, kind of, and therefore you need to put them in there because if you're if you're defining this as a top left corner then it makes sense to make it zero zero from the texture to take it out and therefore for example if you go to the right you're just saying hey this is the top right corner and therefore you say zero 
uh, 1, 0 because we are top. So the Y thing, we are not here. And therefore, you take it out. And that, of course, you can see here. So we are doing triangles. So we are, what we are forming with our triangle is a triangle which is looking like this, 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 and this. And therefore, we're cutting out from our texture, so this image thing here, this part. And for example, once we run it, and we do that with uh, one which is, uh, you can see now and then, then you see it's some interesting thing, which is just um, kind of a repeating thing here and here. And this is because we did the, no, the triangle strip. And therefore we have like an um, amalgamation of things which are put together. And for example, when, when we do that, not with the strip, but with the list. So we have like two separate triangles. You will see something like this. So we are having two triangles with a cutout, which looks almost samey. Uh, it is basically the same from the same texture. This is just here, not put together to one shape. So this is what polygons can actually do. And this is one of the more practical applications because drawing triangles and so on, you can do that uh, without uh, primitives. Of course, if you want to do um, some some octagon shapes, something like this, but then you have to go into primitives because you can only do that in Game Maker Studio with those. So hopefully that was of interest to you and see you in another more practical application to polygons because actually you can do some really funky stuff with that. Hopefully that was of interest to you and see you next time.